Steve, what are you watching for today? Well, it wouldn't be July 1st in Hong Kong without bad weather. We had that back in 1997 in the exact same venue uh, behind me, the Hong Kong Convention Center. And we have essentially a T3, which is, uh, you know, not the worst kind of tropical storm, but bad enough uh, to whip up the hair and, and wet all the participants, obviously, who are going to be outside for the flag raising. Uh, but, uh, you know, we had a yellow rainstorm warning last night. It has passed, and it's still going to be a downpour most of the day. Uh, I'm not saying that is a harbinger for things to come because Xi Jinping, who arrived late yesterday afternoon or mid afternoon actually uh, by high speed rail from Shenzhen, uh, he was quite upbeat about the prospects for Hong Kong. Obviously, you alluded to the fact that two years ago on this date was the first day of the national security law that Beijing implemented on Hong Kong after uh, that about a year and a half of violent street protests. He says that has brought vigor and stability and prosperity back to Hong Kong. And again, that is a word we're probably going to hear a lot from Xi Jinping today as he is expected to give another speech at around the time that John Lee is sworn in in the building behind me uh, about mid-morning talking about stability. That is paramount to the Chinese leadership and that is why essentially and if you, if you hear from the Chinese leaders and read between the lines you will know that stability is first and foremost. John Lee, he will take over from Carrie Lam. She started off a well in 2017. Uh, she tried to make overtures to the Pan Democrats. However, it quickly turned sour in 2019 with her introduction of the extradition bill. We all know what happened in the turbulence over the last three years. In fact, Xi Jinping, when he was here five years ago at 2017, I was here covering that. I was there up in uh, Fanling, up in the north, when he rode in an open-top military vehicle addressing uh, the Chinese troops that are based here. Essentially, he warned Hong Kong back then, five years ago, that any anti-Chinese or any threat to Chinese mainland, uh, uh, you know, Communist Party rule of Hong Kong would be impermissible. It was a warning that did play out, of course, two years ago uh, with the introduction of that national security law. Lots to report on, obviously, today with John Lee taking over, flipping the page from Carrie Lam. We'll have to see the lifetime career law enforcement official, what his take on being chief executive will be like.